This is Nick with Logos by Nick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be using Inkscape to show you how you can create this vector heartbeat design using a dog's head using Inkscape. And this is a design that, uh, this is something that could be adapted to any other type of design. This doesn't just have to be a dog head. It could also be like a, uh, uh, a skyline of a particular city or like a saxophone or a heart or something like that. And I see these, these sorts of designs being used a lot people selling t-shirts on Facebook and stuff. So I'm going to show you how you can create this sort of design using Inkscape. And at any point in the tutorial, you could look down at the bottom left-hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So I'll minimize this and we'll get started here in Inkscape. By the way, if you'd like to know how you can make Inkscape appear dark and with these custom icons, a link to that information will be in the description of the video. So the first thing I want to do is make sure I have the view set to custom. And then I'll zoom in at one to one. And then we're going to open up the Align and Distribute menu with this button up here. And we're going to want last selected chosen from that drop down. And then we'll open up the uh, Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu, which is right there. And after that, we're going to get rid of the page border by going to File, Document Properties. And we can just uncheck the Show Page Border box and then uncheck the Show Border Shadow box. And then we can close out of that and our document is set to begin working. So for this particular tutorial, I use the dog head here. Uh, I'm just going to uh, import some images uh, that I downloaded from the internet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shrink down the Inkscape window. And it's this image right here, animal1299485 or whatever that is. I'll have a link to this in the description of the video. So just go ahead and download that and save it to a place where you can easily access it. And then we can just click and drag that into Inkscape maximize the window. If you're using Mac, uh, I don't believe the uh, click and drag function will work. So if you're using a Mac, just go to File and Import and it should be able to work that way. So we have this, uh, this series of dog images here in SVG format, meaning these are all vectors. These can all be manipulated different ways and you can change the colors and everything. So uh, for this one, I just use this image right here. So uh, let me zoom out a little bit. I'll press minus on the keyboard a couple of times so we can see the whole picture. And I'll just ungroup. Click the button that says ungroup selected objects and it should ungroup it into separate objects. Click off of it to deselect everything and then just take this object here in the middle. We're going to use this dog and put that off to the side. And then click and drag over the rest of these dogs and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of them. So we'll take this guy over here. And by the way, to move the page around like that, I'm pressing down on the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. So. We have this dog here. I'm going to press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back into 100%. And I'll just hold Control and Shift and click and drag this arrow to scale that down a little bit. Make that a little smaller. So what I want to do now is create an outline out of this. So we'll turn off the fill color by clicking on this X over here. And we're going to give it an outline by holding Shift and clicking on the color black right here. And it's going to create that. It's going to create an outline out of that image. And what I want to do now is come over to the Stroke Style tab and change the width of that to 10. So I hit 10 and hit enter. And then I will uh, turn on, uh, I will make this a rounded join and make this a rounded cap. And what I want to do over here is where it says effect, we want to make sure we have this very first box turned off for what we're going to do next. So once that's turned off, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger because as it looks right now, you can't really see like the ear or like any, it's, it's hard to tell that this is a dog head by looking at just the head part anyway because the line's a little too thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold control and shift and scale it up a little bit to make the line a little thinner. Kind of like what I have here in this uh, thumbnail. I have it sized about that. I'm paying attention mostly to the ears here. So I'm just going to scale this up a little more. Okay, that looks pretty good like that. And what I want to do now is I want to grab the rectangle tool, the squares and rectangles tool and click and drag to create a rectangle going over the bottom portion of the dog's body. And I want to turn that, uh, I'll just turn that red and then hold shift and click on the X to get rid of the outline. And I'm going to come over here to the opacity and bring that down a little bit. And then I'll go back to the select tool. And what I'm looking at over here is the dog's neck because that's where the edge, the edge of this red rectangle is going to make for the vertical, for the horizontal axis for this heartbeat line. So wherever we use, wherever we put this red um, rectangle is where the dog's head is going to end. So uh, we don't want it like too high, like up here, 
We don't want it too high up here or too low down there. So I think right about there is pretty good. And once we have it positioned like that, we could hold a shift and click on the dog and go to path, cut path. And that's going to cut that up into all different pieces. And we can click off of that to deselect everything and take just the dog's head, move this off to the side, take the rest of its body, click and drag over it to deselect it and press delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. So we now have just the dog head. So the next part is to create the actual heartbeat lines, uh, which should be pretty simple. So to do that, we will grab the Bezier pen, which is um, over here, or you could just press uh, B on the keyboard to grab that. And what we want to do is come up here and turn on the snap to cusp nodes button. And then we want to snap the cursor onto this node right here and click and then hold control on the keyboard to lock onto the uh, horizontal axis and just bring this line out to the left, maybe that far, and then click. And you can let go of control and hit enter, and it's going to create a little line right there. And we want this line to be consistent with the outline of the dog's head, so we're going to change, we're going to come over to the stroke style tab and change the width to 10, which is the same size. And again, we'll give this a rounded join and a rounded cap. And now we're going to put the little, uh, the little indication of a heartbeat there, kind of like an EKG machine. So. To do that, I'm going to grab the uh, Edit Paths by Nodes tool, and I'm going to click and drag over those two nodes of that line. And I'll come up here to the very far left where it says Insert New Nodes into Selected Segments. I'll click that once, and then a second time, and maybe one more time. And you're going to see a whole bunch of new nodes in there. So let's zoom in on this portion now. I'm just going to press plus on the keyboard a couple of times to zoom in. And I want to take the third line, the third node in from the right. I want to leave this one alone. I want to leave that one alone. I want to take this third one right here. Click on that so it's just that is selected. And then hold control and click and drag that up. Maybe about that far. And then hold control and take this node and bring that down. Maybe about that far. Now we'll hold control. We'll take this next node and bring that up a little bit. Not as high as this one, but just a little lower. Hold control. Take this node. Bring that down. And then maybe take this one and bring that up just a little bit like that. So what we want to do now is put these all a little closer together. So I'm just going to hold control and take this bottom node and slide that to the left. And I'll take this node and slide that to the left. Holding control the whole time I'm doing this. Slide each of these nodes over to the left a little bit. Put this one over here. And I want to take this node and hold control and bring that over here. Bring these all in a little closer like that. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll bring that one in a little more. And what I'll do is I'll click and drag over all of these nodes in the left half and hold control and bring that in to the right a little bit, like that. And let me press one on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. Click on the uh, select tool and click off of that to deselect. You'll see we've gotten a start here and we could just make duplicate copies of this to, to finish off the rest of the design. So if you notice in the thumbnail, I used two on this side and one on that side. So I'll just right click on that and go to duplicate and I'll move this over here and snap this node onto this node and that should happen automatically if you just click and drag it near there like that. That's pretty good. And maybe I'll space this out a little more. I'll move this one away a little further. So I'll go to the edit pads by nodes tool and I'll click and drag over all of the nodes to the left except for this last one right here. So just these nodes on the left and hold control and bring that out to the left. And then maybe click on just this node and then hold control and bring that out to the left a little bit. Like that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. And now we can go to the select tool, right click on that, go to duplicate. And uh, I'll take this one and put this over here. And these lines are a little too close to the dog's nose. So I'll go to the edit pads by nodes tool and click and drag over those nodes and hold control and pull them out to the right a little bit like that. And then we can go back to the select tool and click off of it to deselect everything. And you see that's pretty much it. We've pretty much finished the design. So how is it that we can finalize this now so that we can color it in and use it uh, however we want? Well, um, I'm just going to make a duplicate copy of this. I'll put this off to the side. Uh, I'm going to right click on those and go to duplicate and I'll put, bring this over here. If we try to make that like, let's say we want to make that red, we're going to get something like that because these are registered as outlines or otherwise known as strokes with an inkscape. So to, um, to make these into paths, we'll just go to path, 
stroke to path, and now we can make them red or yellow or orange or whatever color you'd like. And you could even hold control and shift and scale them down like that. And if you, and uh, this design, this could be used, like I said earlier, with anything other than like a dog head. Uh, for example, I'll use a star. Let me create a star here. I'll click on the stars and polygons tool. I'll click on the star. I'll make that five corners. Um, rounded, zero, randomized zero. Spoke ratio, zero, 0 0.375. And I'll just hold control and shift and create a star like that. Uh, I'm gonna give that an outline by holding shift and clicking on the color black. And then I'll click on the X to turn off the fill. And I'll go to the stroke style, give it a rounded cap and a rounded join. And let me just go to the select tool and zoom in a little more and click on it a second time to get the rotation handles and just rotate it around a little bit. Like that, that's pretty good. Press one to zoom back out. And again, we're gonna grab the squares and rectangles tool and create a rectangle going over where it is that we want the horizontal axis of the heartbeat line to be. Go back to the select tool, hold shift, click on the star and go to path, cut path and click off of the deselect. And we could take this and get rid of it. Take that, get rid of it. Uh, just pressing delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. Click and drag over both of those, bring the opacity all the way up. And then I'll take this segment over here, right click that and go to duplicate. And I'll put this on this node here. And maybe I'll shrink that down a little bit. I'm just gonna hold control and make this star a little smaller. Snap it back onto that node. Take this one, right click it, go to duplicate. Snap it onto there. And this center, this little middle piece here, we can just take that and get rid of that. Press delete on the keyboard. And you get the idea. You can pretty much use this design with any concept as long as you construct it with strokes or outlines first. So uh, that's how you can create something like that using Inkscape. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.